I gave you the example where I gave you the rate of return or the required rate of return what the individual wants and accordingly you compared the price with the intrinsic price that the market price with the intrinsic price. Now if I have been given the market price of the bond is 9600 now if I buy at this price what is the return I get that return is called as a yield. Okay, it's very important to know even though I want 8% but the bond, see I'll just try to recollect you, your bond, we have the price of 9605 but the bond was available at 9600. That means the bond is giving something more than my required rate of return. Okay, so that is nothing but the yield. Let's go ahead and understand it more better. Bonds are generally traded on the basis of prices but they are compared in terms of yields. So if there are two bonds even though they are traded on the basis of prices but I can I need to compare it with terms of yield. This I will show you with an example ahead. Yield is a critical concept in bond investing because it is a tool used to measure the return of one bond against another. It enables one to make informed decision about which bond to buy. In essence, yield is the rate of return on the bond investment. However, it is not fixed like a bond stated interest rate. So please understand there is a difference between the interest rate that is a coupon rate and the yield. Coupon rate is stated interest rate that this bond will give you 10% coupon. But if you buy the same bond lower than the market uh, par value that is a face value let's say at 900 so you get something more than the stated interest rate which is nothing but your yield it changes to reflect the price movements in a bond caused by the fluctuating interest rates so yield keeps on changing on the basis of the changes in the price the following example illustrates how yield works let's go ahead and see this example you buy a bond and hold it for a year and the interest rates are rising now what will happen to your bond? The bond price will fall because the demand for this bond now will be reduced. But how much will be the fall in the price? That will be calculated by yield. You receive a lower price for the bond than you paid for because no one would otherwise accept your bond now lower than the market interest rate. Your bond is paying 10%, the market interest rate is 12%, why should I come and buy your bond? Although the buyer will receive the same amount of interest as you did and will also have the same amount of principal returned at the maturity but the buyer's yield or the rate of return will be higher than yours because the buyer paid less for the bond. So if this bond which is floating at 10% the price gets reduced let's say 800. Now I am a new investor I if I buy at 800 my yield my real rate of return will be something more than the stated interest rate why because i bought the things at a lower price than the face value at the end of course i will get the face value so i make a capital gain there so which increases my yield yield is commonly measured in two ways current yield and yield to maturity now current yield is the annual return on the amount paid for the bond regardless of its maturity. Now current yield as the name suggests it's current. If I buy the bond today in a year's time how much will be my yield? It is calculated as annual interest divided by price. For example if you buy a rupees 1000 bond with a 6% stated interest at rupees 900. Now 6% is the stated interest rate on this. So the bond price is 1000 into 0.6 divided by 900. So 6.67 is the current yield. So if you look at the bond, even though your interest rate was 6%, but since you bought the bond at 900, your real rate of return is 6.67%. YTM. Now this was if I buy the bond within a year. I want to see the yield within a year. But what if I hold the bond till maturity? This is called YTM is the rate of return which the investor can expect to earn if the bond is held till maturity. It is the same as the internal rate of return of a bond and is a discount rate that is equal to the present value of the cash flows. Now till now in our examples we have been seeing the discount rate was given to you. But here we are trying to find the discount rate 
such that if I buy the bond at this price, what will be the discount rate? Let's see how do we find it. A bond with a 1000 par value, current market price 800, carries a coupon rate of 9%, maturity 8 years. What would be the YTM? Till now, we have understood that the written was given to us and we tried to find the price. Okay, and now the price is given and we are trying to find the rate of written acquired by us because of this price. Okay, so one way to do is I can use IRR that is the internal rate of written. Okay, in that I first discount it at a random rate let us say 13% and try to find a positive NPV. I start with 14%, get a negative NPV. I can plug in this in the IRR formula which says the lower discount rate, higher minus the lower NPV positive upon the difference between the positive and the negative NPV. Okay, now this is a trial error method. Instead of having this method, there is an approximation formula which is developed which helps us to directly know what is the YTM. YTM is equal to interest plus maturity value minus the purchase price divided by number of years. The whole divided by maturity value plus purchase price divided by 2. Now see, this is formula is ideally taking care of the interest which is your cash flow. Two, the capital gains. As I said, the capital gain component will increase your yield. And the capital gain will be achieved by the difference between the maturity value and the purchase price which you bought for. Now, this yield will differ from individual to individual. You bought at 800, someone else bought at 805. So, for the yield for him will be different. Okay, and maturity value, please note, maturity value if generally is face value. But... At times, the company may mature the bond at a premium as in our previous case or at a discount. So, at face value or at a premium or at a discount depends on what is information is given. Let's see this example. Calculate the YTM of a each bond. Bond A, coupon rate 12%, 10 years, face value 100, market price is 70. Bond B, 10%, 6 years, market price is 60. Now see, on the face of this bond, how, how can I compare like, okay, should I buy a set bond with a 70 price or a 60 price? Because the price of 70 is having 12% but of 60 is having 10%. Again, 6 years, 10 years, so so many parameters to compare. I can't compare these bonds, right? So that is why the bonds are compared with the help of yields. Okay, so let's see what is the yield generated by bond A and bond B. We use plugin into the YTM formula directly. We will not do the trial error method. And 12%, 100 face value, 12 is the interest. Plus, maturity value is assumed to be face value. So, 100 minus 70, which is a purchase price, divided by 10. Now, see 30 divided by 10 plus 12. And the whole divided by 100 in plus 70 divided by 2. I get 17.67. Similarly, for bond B, I get 20.8% the yield. Now, if you look, bond B, which was at a 10% coupon, you would have ideally thought, oh, 10% coupon. But the actual yield is 20% if you buy this bond at 60. But whereas bond A, which is having 12% coupon, but actual yield is only 17.6 because you buy at 70. So, what is it we are interpreting out of this? As the price reduces, the yield increases. So, when the price reduced from of a bond with 60, the yield was more. Whereas, the bond 70, the yield was less. So, as the price reduces, the yield increases. So, price and yield have an inverse relation. For more details on finance topics, you can contact palakrajani at yahoo.com. Thank you.